We're going to come through a high plank and then back into our downward dog. So from here, send that tailbone high, inhale. Then exhale, slowly bring the shoulders forward through the gates of the arms and lengthen through the crown of the head and the tailbone. Hold for one breath, keep those shoulders stacked, so keep lifting that head out of the shoulders. And then exhale, pull back to Adam or Kashvanasana, downward dog. Again, walk those palms in towards the feet a little if it helps with a little bit of extra stability and support. Deep inhale here. And then exhale, bring those shoulders back through the gates of the arms. You can drop to the knees for a modification if it's a little strong. Otherwise, keep that belly drawn in, pelvic floor lifting, lengthening through the crown of the head as you inhale and stretch through the heels. And then exhale, push back into Adam or Kashvanasana, downward dog. And then from here, we're going to walk the palms of the hands towards the feet and hook the opposite elbows. We're going to dangle for a few breaths, reach the crown of the head down towards the floor, draw the shoulders away from the ears and just relax, folding from the hips, lengthening through the crown of the head and releasing those hamstrings. Inhales, exhales, the same length, slowing down that breath. And then maybe shifting those hips and elbows from side to side, swinging gently like a pendulum. And then find that central point and just find some stillness for a moment. On your next inhale, prepare the body for movement. And then as you exhale, bring those palms of the hands out to the side of the body at shoulders height, press through the feet, length through the crown of the head, flatten the back. As you inhale, press through the heels, reach down through the heels to rise up through the shoulders, the fingers, the head. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, softly bring the palms of the hands down in front of the heart. And now we're standing. So as we're ready, we're going to come to the centre of our mat and we're going to come into good standing or mountain pose, Samastatihi or Tadasan, whatever you prefer to call it. But standing tall and strong like a, like a mountain. So big toes in, heels slightly apart and then again we're going to stack those shoulders. So give ourselves that little auto cue with the palm brushing down past the tailbone. And then palm at the front of the belly, so drawing, reminding ourselves to draw everything in towards centre. Stretching heels towards the floor, lift those kneecaps, bring those hip points forwards, lengthen through the fingertips, shoulders drop away from the ears and lengthen through the crown of the head. So really feel that rooting sensation through the feet. So root down through the floor and then feel the body rise and lift through the crown of the head with the inhale. And close the eyes for a moment and just really get into the feet and the body. Allow those shoulders to relax. Fingertips are soft. And try and see if you can cultivate that sense of weightlessness through the body. Grounding through the feet but expansive and light as air. And then as you're ready, blinking the eyes open, we're going to inhale, interlace the fingertips. Set the feet apart about hips width. And then inhale, draw the palms up underneath the heart. Then exhale, press them down, up and away. Lengthen through the sides of the body. Again, stretching through those heels. Stretch the heels towards the floor. And then from here, we're going to lift over towards the right-hand side. So lengthen through the right-hand side. Turn that heart up towards the sky, twisting from the belly. And really press through that left heel to feel that stretch through the sides of the body. Inhale deeply. 
Exhale, draw those tummy muscles in, squeeze those obliques, obliques at the side of the body to inhale and lengthen back through center. And then exhale, take it into a side stretch towards the opposite side to lengthen towards the left. Press through your right heel and see if you can get one line of energy from the outside of the right foot through the fingers. And then exhale, draw tummy back in, release those fingertips down alongside the body. Step the feet back together, big toes together, heels apart, and we're going to set up for tree pose. So I'll just show you where we're headed, and then we can practice together so that you know what comes next. So often what they say is it helps us with greater absorption in the present if we know what's going to come next, and that also sometimes goes for our yoga practice. So I'll show you first, and we can practice together. Okay, so let's play. So we're gonna to step towards the left side of our mat together. Press through the feet and prepare ourselves for Vikasan or tree pose. So from here, we're gonna shift our weight into our left foot, turn out on the right and walk that foot up the length of the leg, toes point down, avoiding the knee. Bring the palms to touch in front of the heart, drop the shoulders down, inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head and use those muscles at the hips and around the thighs on the right hand side to open that knee out towards the side. On your next inhale, reach those fingertips up, opening those branches wide and then turn those palms face down at the same height as the shoulder. From here, inhale, lengthen and then exhale like a fallen tree, we're going to Fall gently with control towards the right hand side of our mat, stepping that right foot towards the short edge, keeping a nice deep bend in that front knee. And now we're in warrior two. So check that the weight of the body isn't coming all the way over that front knee and that we're not leaning all the way back. So keep it nice and central and those shoulders nice and soft. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And then exhale, we're going to bring that right palm of the hand towards the left hip. And then inhale, sweep that left arm up and overhead until we lower that right shoulder towards that right thigh. At this point, drop that left hip, hip a little towards the floor so you've got a nice long line through the outside of the foot all the way through the left fingertips and then look up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press through the feet, come back through warrior two, arms at shoulders height. And then from here, reverse that warrior by turning front palm up and reaching back, lengthen that back hand down, back thigh, and bend deeply into that front knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back the other way, so back through warrior two. Reach right palm across towards left hip. Inhale, left arm up and overhead, bringing right shoulder towards right knee. Drop that hip. Get that nice long line pressing through the outside of the back foot. And then exhale back through warrior two. Bending deeply in that front knee. Then from here we're going to turn on that back heel, lift that back heel up. Turn towards the front of the mat, windmill those arms. Plant them either side of the front foot. Step towards the back of the mat, pull through downward dog, Adam Mukhashvanasana. 